Good morning, everybody. It's Brett, your thankful carnivore. It is February the 26th. I do believe it's a Wednesday, 2020, and this is today's thankful carnivore report. I appreciate you all taking time out of your day to listen to me ramble on about things related to the carnivore way of eating that I find interesting. Check me out across all my social media, thankful.carnivore on Instagram, on Twitter where the meat-eating savages just run wild. It's Stickman Bleeding, that's S-T-I-C-K-M-A-N-B-L-E-E-D-I-N, don't add a G. Facebook, YouTube, Thankful Carnivore. (laughs) Today's topic is about sharing the blessings, and I have been incredibly blessed of late. Today... My interview for the Low Carb MD podcast has been released. It's out. I will include a link at the bottom of this uh, in the show notes, talk notes, whatever you want to call them. The notes will have the link. These, Dr. Brian, Dr. Tro, just two incredibly good men. First off, they're good human beings. And I have no doubt that they're phenomenal physicians and their patients are blessed to have them. Um, It was a fantastic discussion. I I did get to discuss my story in depth. We also got to hear Dr. Brian talk about some beautiful things with regards to uh, a new clinic that he's opening up with another physician, uh, direct primary care paradigm is what he's going to be operating under. And uh, there was a lot of humor. There was mostly a great deal of joy. And, um, you know, there was, I, Brian cried, I know, because I heard him. <laughs> and he's talking about uh, his situation and the goodness and the joy that's coming to him because he's, people are helping him. He's, he's, <laughs> he's a blessed man. And he's sharing his blessing with the world. And that's one of the reasons why I do these things, why I talk about these subjects. is Because I've been so blessed, just because I was taught to learn how to eat this way. And look what it's done for me. You know, I lost 40 plus years of mental illness symptoms. and They're still gone, thanks be to God. And I don't miss them a bit. And (laughs) these beautiful discussions impact people's lives on a regular basis. I was blessed last week to do an interview with Kelly Hogan, a teen-year carnivore on her carnivore channel, uh, My Zero Carb Life. And there's a link to that right on my YouTube. At the end of every YouTube uh, talk I put up, I'll have that link because it's such a powerful, Kelly's such a positive human being. And the main focus of the discussion was happiness. And in many ways, that was the, the main theme of my discussion on Low Carb MD podcast. It was, we're not broken. There's hope for all of you, for everyone who's suffering from depression and anxiety, who's been, who've been hopeless for so long, for those who've been in pain with arthritis and other bio- physiological problems. There's light at the end of the tunnel. And that light is about no longer consuming toxins and only consuming human absorbable nutrition. For me, that's just eating meat and drinking water. And today is the 589th day, something like that. I don't remember. It's been 19 months plus that I've been living this way. And people need to know you're not a genetic mishap. You didn't get a bad roll of genetic dice. You were just taught to eat wrong. That's all. And these podcasts, these interviews, these discussions are just another way to let people know. And I've been blessed to speak to larger and larger audiences as time has gone along. And I think I'm going to get to share my story at the Carnivore Conference. I'm still waiting to hear back about the details and what all, what day, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know any more than that, so I can't be more specific. But I think it's going to happen. Um, 
And I that's that's so beautiful. And I legitimately will not stop until I think everybody who needs to hear what happened to me has heard. For all the people who need hope, who can find it in what I've accomplished, I need to make that available to them in every way possible. And it, it's not about... It's not about Brett and my ego. I'll screw all that. <laughs> I could care less about any of that nonsense. I'm just blessed and thankful to feel as good as I do. Um, I want you all to keep sharing your experiences. Now, we, there's been a, an explosion here these last few months. I think Meet Our Ex coming on the scene had a lot to do with that. There's, there's a lot of people giving their testimonials and putting them up on YouTube and at MeetRx's testimonial page, the MeetRx YouTube channel, the MeetRx Instagram page. Yes, this is turning into a commercial for MeetRx, and I don't care because at MeetRx, you could get a 30-minute coaching session for under 20 bucks. You can get one from me. Just go check it out, MeetRx.com. But even MeetRx... And, and other channels across YouTube and on other platforms across social media. People are sharing their experience, changing their lives, taking control, creating their own health. By dietary change, many are, are just using the ketogenic diet. Keto's saving lives. <laughs> There's been millions of pounds lost, millions of pounds of fat and flab come off of human beings in, in Western society in these last few years because of the keto diet. I know people who've lost hundreds of pounds on a ketogenic diet. Don't forget, the carnivore way of eating is also a ketogenic diet. I'm in ketosis every day. It's glorious. I love it. My preferred state of living. But my point is, these stories matter. We're moving the needle. And don't ever assume that your story doesn't have value. Think about it for a minute. Because of one young lady, because of one gal named Michaela Peterson, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people have seen her story, have been impacted in a positive way. Thousands and thousands of people are now Following the lion diet, as she calls it. That's how she, what she names the carnivore diet. She keeps it a little stricter than I would. She goes beef, salt, and water. That's what worked for her. I don't have any problem with that. Now, I cook with butter. That's the only thing I add into that equation. So, mine would be the lion butter diet, I guess. I don't know. My point is, look at the impact. Her story. One Canadian gal story has had on so many people. Just within my home, her story has immensely impacted the lives of three human beings. Myself, my stepson, and my awesome wife. Changed our lives completely for the better. Just from one, one gal telling her story. And this has happened across North America, across Europe, across Asia. Her story has spread like wildfire. Your story can help inspire and motivate. Share it wherever you can. Maybe in your church bulletin. Maybe in a community bulletin board or news group. Your local newspaper. Share your story so that people who need to find hope can find it in what you experienced. Share your blessings. They'll come back to you, I promise. My friends, have a beautiful day. Share your stories. Do the things you know you need to do to take care of you. Eat your meat, drink your water, and always remember, you've got something to be thankful for. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow.